achieve the pull-up? Uh, we're looking to work on the back muscles and the arm muscles. You're looking for a full hang, so a full lock out of your arm, and then get your chin over the bar. Okay, the most simplest way to scale it is to put a band across uh, two J-hooks there, put a band attached to the ring, and that takes off a certain amount of per the person's body weight, and then it makes it much lighter for them to pull themselves over the bar. There is a couple other ways where you can do jumping pull-ups or potentially ring rows, same deal, working on the same muscle group. So on the dip, you're looking to get arms full locked out, trying to get your shoulder below your elbow on that. Dip works the chest muscles and the back of the arms, the triceps. So you're going from the steady bars, is, the steady bar is a stable surface where it's, it's a lot easier to control your body weight. You don't have to use any of your stabilizer muscles. And you can just go for a dip there. It's easier than using the rings where you have to stabilize it yourself with using all your muscles in your shoulders. It's just a much more difficult movement. And uh, same deal with that for scale down. We use a band to take off the weight or else we can use it where you're on a bench here and you have your hands on the edge of the bench and you use your own feet to take off as much body weight as you can. Push-up works similar muscles to a, a bench but at a slightly different angle, a little bit easier. So we're going from vertical to horizontal and the push-up works the same, chest muscles and tricep muscles, muscles. And plus you have to activate your core. In all of these exercises, you have to activate your core just to stay stable so we can transfer the force much better. Much better. So for a push-up, basically everyone knows what a simple push-up is. It's basically you're vertically on the ground here, or sorry, horizontally on the ground here. And to make it a bit easier, we just angle her up a little bit like that. So it just makes it less of a force for her to force. The handstand push-up. Yeah, that's basically going from, from horizontal to vertical. And your feet aren't on the ground, so you've got to push your whole body weight as, a, as opposed to a, purport, a portion of your body weight. And it's straight up, so it's a much harder movement. So shoulder press obviously is working your, your front delt and pretty much all your shoulder muscles, your delts, all your deltoids, and working on your core. So when we're standing up, we still have to activate the core so we don't over, overextend our, our spine, which is the most important part here. We want to make sure that it's safe. Uh, so they have to activate their core first, tensing their glutes and tensing their abs, and then it's from here to full blockade overhead. And that's all we're looking for. So you saw Pamela do it. She was doing obviously a much lighter weight. We scale it back down to whatever level of fitness the person is. So you'll either be doing a really light weight to whatever weight you can pretty much handle. You can go as heavy as you want or as light as you want. It makes no difference. Whatever level of fitness you are, you can come into the gym and we'll have some scaled version for you to work on. So it doesn't matter if you're the best athlete in the whole gym or you're a 95 year old woman, you can still do effectively all the same move. Box jump, yeah, so we're working on our explosive power on that. So all the movements move from, are generated from our hip power. So we're looking for an explosive drive through the hips to get our force up onto the box. Okay, we'll do a number of reps of them normally to get it, but it works on our explosive power. And depending on whichever level you're at, you'll work either from six inches to up to whatever you want, 40 inches, 50 inches, whatever, whatever you're able to do yourself. No, but the tendency is you do get a, a lot of wear and tear on the hands from doing all the pull-ups and lifting all the weights up overhead. They, like some of the times, if you don't look after your hands, you can tend to get some rips on your, on your hands unless you actually look after them.